Hey, it's Shannon Long, and today we've headed south to Bloomington, Indiana to take you behind the scenes of Upland Brewing Company. Who doesn't love Upland? You live in Bloomington, you love Upland. Upland's a lovely place to be. It makes makes life good. This is literally our favorite place to be in Bloomington. They make great beer, they serve great food. It's great taste, they've got a large variety. We have a good time here. No, the beer is good. I, I appreciate good craft beer. I love this Upland beer, love it. Upland's name was inspired by the beautiful Indiana uplands that surround it. The hilly region, like the brewery itself, is rather unique to the state. So Upland was founded at the end of 1998, uh, back when there were only five craft breweries in the state of Indiana. Uh, it was founded by a friend of mine. They had a great first seven or eight years. I was sitting in the pub, having lunch one day, and uh, he came over and he said, yeah, I'm thinking about selling the business. And I said, well, I'd be interested in taking a look at it. So that's how I got involved, and that was about a little over 10 years ago. And then we moved into this facility, which is about 40,000 square feet and has really allowed us to expand our core beers. But it may be even as important, it allowed our original facility to be converted over into sours only. So that was the next phase of expansion that happened in 2015, 2016. I love sour beers. We're standing in the wood shop of Upland. You manage the sour beers and everything else production related here at Upland. Pretty much the best job ever. <laughs> Can't complain. I uh, feel pretty lucky. It's just wonderful to work with a group of guys that are so passionate and can really develop some interesting, interesting beers. All of our sours that we make are all aged in wood. We've got 90 barrel, 100 barrel, and 60 barrel fooders, and those aging process can, and this fermentation can take anywhere from three to four months up to three years. This fermentation is creating all kinds of really beautiful flavors. All right, Eli, you today are the Kiwi man. We've got a whole team of Kiwi people here. What exactly is this all for? So uh, this is for our fruited Kiwi sour ale. Uh, we get whole Kiwis in and we just need to remove the skins. The, how many days are you guys gonna be doing this for? We've, <laughs> we've been doing this for about two weeks now. Wow, this is like the most craft beer thing ever. <laughs> right, I mean, yeah. the labor intensive, the heart and soul. It's very labor intensive, but it's, part of the, the flavor, or the... <laughs> and the only thing more delicious than the fruit is the sour beer they make with it. So I stopped by the brewery tap room for a little taste. All right, Adam, they let you out of the lab to come drink beer with me. <laughs> Time to get a little sour. Yeah, get a little funky. This is what we're calling a new American sour, so it's a little um, less intense. This spent time in wood probably about nine months before then we added apricot puree and some ginger. You're hitting every note that I want yeah. you to. This is great. There's an artist that produces these, these works and we take little snippets of various parts of his work. We think they're really attractive on the shelf. You know, it's a blending of colors, which is essentially what we're doing in our sour program is we're blending all these different barrels and tanks together. So tell me about this one. Sure, so this is our uh, Belgian wit beer. We've been making this beer a long time, so Lots of, lots of Hoosiers have enjoyed this beer for many years. Oh, such a refreshing beer. Thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. Champagne Velvet. Yes. This doesn't look like an Upland beer to me. Well, we uh, brewed this beer back in 2013 for the first time. It was our 15th anniversary beer. We actually obtained a copy of the original a recipe from 1903. At one time, one of the biggest beers in, in the country, so. I can see why. It's like your classic American Pilsner on steroids and, and more awesome. This is our Dragonfly IPA, so this is our best-selling beer. So we're trying to find a nice balance between the malt character, some bitterness, and some really nice hop. I mean, if you're an IPA drinker, this beer is made for you. Dragonfly is my favorite. That's my go-to every time. I'm an IPA girl, but I really like Dragonfly. Dragonfly's really become our, our favorite. All right, well, thanks for drinking some beer with me. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming down. Absolutely. We were about to call it a day here at Upland until my competitive side got the better of me. All right, Patrick, I hear that you are the best ping pong player here at Upland Brewing. I challenge you to uh, best of three. Let's do it. Winner takes all of the beer home. All right. <laughs> I'm literally scared. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God.
God, you're really good at this. <laughs> well, we're not brewing. We spent a lot of time practicing this, so it's. Oh. oh, nice serve. Oh, I think I'm better when I am drunk. <laughs> yeah, right, that's the thing too. It takes a couple of beers and then you. Oh, so that's your secret? I'm gonna go that way. Let's see it. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. That went about as poorly as I thought it was gonna go. You win, man. Good game, man. <laughs> Good game. Thanks so much for having me out to Upland today. We had an awesome time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.